Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be doing a complete review of Razer Black Shark V2X gaming headset. Without further ado, let's begin. Face the competition head-on with a lightweight eSports headset that thrives under pressure. Introducing the Razer Black Shark V2X, a triple threat of amazing audio, superior mic clarity, and supreme sound isolation that's approved by pros. Razer helped define the early path of the gaming headset sound with their original Kraken series. Bold colors and large, highly padded ear cups delivered powerful bass into the ears of gamers everywhere and won the company an early lead in the market. Eventually, the bass-heavy sound of the first gaming headsets faded out of popularity. Gamers constantly demanded more performance as time goes on and now want detail, clarity, and soundstage depth to go along with the fun rumbles. The Razer Audio Gear lineup has grown up along with the times. They released one of the best sounding Bluetooth headphones I've ever used in the Razer Opus. They bought THX, George Lucas's legendary sound company that has long been a pioneer in refining sonic presentation for movies and games. They also developed the new Triforce Driver, a highly tunable speaker diaphragm that powers a number of their new headsets. Most of Razer's audio gear now puts out a much more balanced, refined, accurate sound than their original legacy. But tucked down near the bottom of their price ladder is a fun treat, a headset that combines some of their latest audio technologies with a hint of the original Kraken's fun tuning. You might have some questions, for example, what can it do? How easy is it to use? How does it feel in your hands? How fast is it? For what type of work is it helpful? And its pros and cons. So we'll try to answer all these questions. Overview. The Razer Black Shark V2X is a closed back wired gaming headset that is a standard price of $59. In the box, you get the headset itself, a PC splitter cable, a redeemable code for Razer's 7.1 surround software, and a simple cloth carrying bag. The headset's microphone is permanently attached and mutant volume controls live on the left ear cup. Esports design. All three use what Razer calls an eSports design, seemingly inspired both by the original Black Shark from a few years back and the old Plantronics Gamecom Commander headset often used in gaming tournaments. In an uncommon move, none of these headsets offer Razer's Chroma RGB lighting, and all three offer 3.5mm analog connection support. That's an impressively hardcore design move to make right now. Even though I'm a personal fan of RGB, the Black Shark V2X still offers enough of Razer's characteristic style that no one will have trouble telling who made your headset. If you're enjoying the video, then hit the like button and smash the subscribe button. Sound quality. The Black Shark V2X is all about powerful, punchy, energetic low end, and it's beautiful. The headset presents you with impressive bass from minute one and never stops. It's deep, it's luxurious and it's perfect for maximum immersion into games, movies, and music. Fortunately, unlike the thumpy headsets of yore that were copying the original Kraken, the Triforce drivers at the heart of this model also provide enough mid-range and treble detail to keep the bass from melting your brain. Both of these areas are relaxed more than they'd be on a neutral headset, giving the sound of a dark, bass-heavy tone but they're still just vibrant enough to make music enjoyable and provide enough stereo image and soundstage detail to make locating enemies a simple task. Other Razer products also make use of these drivers, but the Black Shark V2X has a more aggressive tuning. It's about hilariously clean and fun bass first and foremost, with enough performance in the rest of the range to make you smile. Comfort. The Black Shark V2X has class-leading comfort, rivaling the efforts of famous competitors like HyperX. The pads are big and soft and filled with a nice memory foam. It seals easily around my glasses and has plenty of adjustment range thanks to friction-based sliders on each side. The headband is arguably over-padded to handle the light weight of the headset, and when combined with the perfectly balanced clamping force, I can wear this all day without issue. Although the more expensive Black Shark V2 and the Razer K-Riz Pro both offer Razer's fancier flow-knit ear cushions, the standard hybrid cloth leatherette cushions on the V2X are still wonderful. The cloth helps them dissipate heat reasonably well. Build Design On first holding the headset, these feel light and a little springy, but not exactly cheap. 
The wire support system for the ear cups shaves a lot of weight away from these compared to the usual gaming headset build. In a nice design touch, the screw holes just near the support wires are covered with small rubber plugs. The aviation-inspired design and shot green accents might not be to everyone's taste, but I totally love the way this headset looks, and it feels just as good to hold and wear as it did when I first bought it last year. The swivel mechanisms for the cups are nice and stiff, and it has no significant creaks or squeaks to speak of. The headband is rigid and reinforced, and although the plastic is basic and not too thick, it has a nice fingerprint-resistant matte coating. Microphone. The microphone here is phenomenal. It is full stop, one of the best microphones on the market. The HyperClear mic has lived up to its name on every product I've tested it on so far. And getting this level of mic audio on a $59 headset is kind of crazy. Only the Astro A10's mic sounds this good at the same price point. Everything else is hoping for a distant second at best. You could use this microphone for any type of voice task without fear. Your friends and co-workers will probably be surprised at how good you sound, just like my friend who I game with weekly is whenever I use the Black Shark V2X. Features, extras. In a remarkable twist, for a sub $99 product, the Black Shark V2 comes with some extras. In the box is a basic felt-like cloth bag and a code for Razer's surround software, but rather their simple on-off solution design for Windows 10 machines. It's easy to get it set up and installed, though you will need a Razer ID to redeem the code and license the software. Once you've selected it as your default output device and pointed it at your headphone output, one click is all you'll need to turn it on and off. Let's have a look at pros and cons. Pros, extremely comfortable for long periods of time. Sound tuning with Razer software, detachable USB sound card, USB sound card included with THX spatial audio through software, mic blocks out and background noise. Light, comfortable, and it fits reasonably priced. Cons, sound cancellation. Only passive cable is hardwired to the headset. Headband isn't adjustable, feels cheap at first. Pricing, if you want to step up the features and price, Razer offers Black Shark V2 for $99, which includes a THX spatial audio dongle, a removable microphone, and nicer build materials. It also has a titanium coating on the drivers that boosts the high frequency response. Finally, at the top of the lineup is the Black Shark V2 Pro, a wireless version that'll set you back $179. So guys, let me know down in the comments section below, what are your thoughts about Razer Black Shark V2 X gaming headset? For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day, and I'll see you on the next video.